Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm a park ranger for North Carolina State Parks. Every year we celebrate an annual educational theme and this year we're going full on beetle mania. You can check out ncparks.gov to access learning resources and activities for 2021 Year of the Beetle. To celebrate, our partners at Eco Explore are releasing a new beetle badge which you can earn just by taking photos and exploring wherever you're outside. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about beetles with the help of our park's chief ranger and beetles enthusiast, Ranger Keith. Hit it! Met a shiny insect in the local woods. I asked her just exactly what she was. She said, listen, mister, and you listen good, because I only want to have to say this once. C-O-L-E-O-P-T-E-R Hey, I'm a Coleoptera Which just means I'm a beetle But the scientists say I'm a Coleoptera Beetles share a number of characteristics that all insects have, which you can learn more about by watching Eco Explorer's Intro to Entomology video. But all beetles are insects of the order Coleoptera, which comes from the Greek word koleos, meaning sheath, and terra, meaning wing. This word sheath wing refers to the modified outer wings all beetles have called elytra. Both of a beetle's elytron serve as hard protective covers for the beetle's much more delicate inner wings, which are used for flight. At rest or when not in flight, the beetle folds up its inner wings under the elytra for protection. Another thing that sets the beetles apart from other insects are their mouth parts. All beetles have a set of mandibles or jaws which are modified differently depending on what the beetle needs to do. Beetle mandibles may be ideal for grasping, tunneling, straining liquids, grinding leaves, cutting flesh from dead animals, or even fighting in self-defense. The diversity of beetles helps to explain why they can be found in all habitats of the world except for the ocean and polar regions. Fossils show that beetles inhabited the earth at the time of the dinosaurs almost 300 million years ago. This was ample time for the beetle lineage to diverge into the over 350,000 species found worldwide today. Now when I say the beetles are an enormous group, I mean they make up about 25% of all animal life on earth. That means if you were to put all of the animals of the world on a list and pick an animal at random from that list, there is a roughly one in four chance that the animal you picked would be a beetle. That's a lot of beetles. As you can imagine, a group that large shows a huge amount of diversity. From the six inch long titan beetle of the Neotropics with jaws powerful enough to snap a pencil in half, to the tiny feather wing beetles which are small enough to fit through the eye of a needle, there's a wide range of beetle sizes out there. The black and brown coloration of many beetles helps them to hide among the leaves, bark, and other dark spaces. Sometimes beetle patterns can be striking and bold to confuse predators. Sometimes beetles are shimmering and brightly colored, a useful trait to advertise their danger, toxicity, or bad taste to predators. And sometimes they even light up. Yep, beetle bodies are modified in a number of different ways to help each one compete in a bug-eat-bug -bug world. Now that you know more about what sets beetles apart, let's talk about how and where you might find them for your beetle badge. Gardens can be a great place to look for beetles. Ladybugs, or lady beetles, and soldier beetles help to keep plants healthy by eating the aphids that would otherwise eat the plant's juices. Other beetles, like striped cucumber beetles and boll weevils, can be a pest for farmers when they feed on crops. Underneath the bark of dead and dying trees can be another great place to look for beetles. With potentially 5 million undescribed beetle species worldwide still waiting for discovery, there has never been a better time to start looking for beetles. Thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. To earn your beetle badge, you must complete a few challenges, take six photos of beetles, and submit them to your Eco Explorer account. Good luck, have fun, and keep exploring. Bye! When I find myself beside a beetle living in this world with me, I 
try hard not to hurt it, I let it be. Or if I'm at home and I find another, and I don't feel as neighborly, I still try not to hurt it, I set it free. Let them be or set them free. Let them be or set them free. Help that little beetle, let it be. Let them be or set them free. Let them be or set them free. Help that little beetle, let it be.